In today's video, I'll show you how to install and configure FileBot. FileBot is the ultimate tool for renaming and organizing your movies, TV shows, and anime. Match and rename media files against online databases, download artwork and cover images, fetch subtitles, write metadata, and more, all at once in a matter of seconds. It's smart and it just works. FileBot does require a license. It can be had for only $6 a year or a lifetime license is only $48 US dollars. In my opinion, it's well worth the small cost. On to FileBot. All right, on Unraid, we're gonna go over to our apps tab. We'll go up to the search box in the top left and type in FileBot. If you've got more than one option like I do, the one we're looking for is just FileBot with the FB icon. Once you find that, go ahead and click install. All right, now you see we are inside of adding the container. Just so you know, there are two different ways that you can install FileBot. The first is really easy and gives us just the program itself. The second is a little more intensive, but it does give us the ability to automate the renaming. The choice is up to you. If you just want to install the program, then scroll down to the bottom and click apply and then hit done. If you want the automated option, which I'm assuming you do, then let's get started. We can either create a separate share or you can keep it with your other media. I'm choosing to keep it within my media folder to make moving the data easier. I use the trash guides folder structure where my media is contained within a share named data. So I'm gonna open up my file explorer and bring that window over. All right, here you'll see my file explorer inside of there. I did browse to my demo server here and then went into the data share. I am gonna create a new folder and I'm going to name it filebot-in. Then I'm gonna create another one and name it filebot-out. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my Unraid server here where I'm in the midst of setting up filebot. Then what I'm looking for in here is going to be storage right here. This is basically setting up the root location for FileBot. I want it to be in my data share. We'll click into here, find my data share, and select it. Now I'll click off to the side to minimize that, and we'll go to the next option down, which is Automated Media Center Watch Directory. The Watch Directory here is a folder that FileBot will monitor and watch, and if anything is in there, it'll go through and try to rename it and process it automatically. So I need to browse to my FileBot-in folder, find data, and then we'll find filebot-in listed there. Select that folder and we'll click off there to minimize that. Down below, we've got automated media center output directory. This is where the files are gonna go after they're processed by FileBot. For that, I'm gonna select my filebot-out folder. So once again, select the field there, drop down, find your share that it's in, mine was in data, find the filebot-out, select that, and then click off the field somewhere. All right, next down, we've got open subtitles username and open subtitles password. If you have an open subtitles account, if not, you can go create one. You'll put your information in here. I'll let Bizarre handle my subtitles and you can see my video on Bizarre if you wanna check that out. I'll leave a link to it up here and down in the description. If you wanna use open subtitles, then just go ahead and enter your open subtitles username and password. Scrolling down a bit, next option, we've got automated media center interval. This is the time frame of how often the automated media center is gonna run. Currently it's set for 1800 seconds, which is 30 minutes. For testing, I'm gonna drop this number down. Later on, we'll come back here and we'll up this number back up. So for me right now, I'm just gonna set it to 60 seconds so it runs every minute. All right, next down, we've got automated media center input stable time. It's currently set for 10 seconds. What this does is that it monitors the folder, which in this case is our watch folder, and it looks for any changes. If anything has changed in the last 10 seconds here, then it's going to not process the files. Basically, it's just keeping an eye on it to make sure that there's no changes going on. Nothing's being copied over at the moment. I'm going to leave it on 10 seconds and we'll move on. Next option here is automated media center action. These are the different actions that can be applied to the automation. In this case, it is set for test, which is not really going to do anything. It's just going to write what it would do in the logs. Other options are, of course, test. There's copy, move, sim link, hard link, keep link, duplicate, or clone. I'll leave this on test for now, and we'll come back later on and change that. All right, next down, we've got automated media center conflict resolution. If you look below, it says conflict resolution strategy used by automated media center, the AMC script. When set to skip, existing files will never be overwritten, while auto overrides existing files only if the new media is better. I'm gonna leave it on auto and go to the next option down. There we've got automated media center watch mode currently set on opportunistic. And this is basically going to tell it to try its best to match to the correct media. I'm going to leave it there and we'll scroll down. If 
For a more in-depth look into each item here, I'll leave a link to the environment variables from the GitHub site. It'll be down in the description. Next down, we've got automated media center artwork. This will enable an option to automatically go get the artwork for the media files. I have radar and sonar that handle that, so I'm gonna leave it on no and move on. Now we've got automated media center language. This is the language that you want it to use. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on English and I'll go down further. Here we've got automated media center music format. This is the format that the automated media center script will use to format the naming of the media. There are different options here, such as Plex, Kodi, MB, Jellyfin. Each of them will be in the curly braces there. And you'll see at the bottom of the description here, it says, see this location for the complete documentation on it. If you wanna find out more, you can go there. The next few fields are all pretty much the same type of thing. This one here is for movies. Next one down is for TV shows and anime is down below that. I'm gonna leave them all on Plex and we'll move on. If you use a different media program such as Jellyfin or MB, you can just change those accordingly. Scrolling down some more, we've got automated media center process music. So if you've got music in your Filebot in folder, do you want to process it? I'm gonna leave it on yes because sometimes I do throw music in. Down below there, the last option we've got is automated media center subtitle language. This is obviously the language that you want the subtitles in. Once again, I use Bizarre and I'll let Bizarre handle that for me. Once you've got your settings set, down at the bottom, go ahead and hit apply. And while it's installing, why don't you come join us in Discord? I'll leave a link down in the description. And once that's done, go ahead and click done. Now let's jump over to the Docker tab. We'll find Filebot in the list. Then over on the right, I'm gonna turn on auto start. Back to left hand side, click on the icon, drop down and select web UI. If you just installed Filebot and you didn't set up the automation side of it, this is where you can go and have it process files. Let me show you how to use it real quick. Over on the left hand side of the window, you'll see it says original files. This is where you can browse to original files. Over on the right hand side will be the new naming. So on the left side, down at the bottom, I'm gonna click load. Then we'll go to select folder and I'm gonna browse to storage, find media. Let's pick something in our TV shows, open up, let's say Beverly Hillbillies here, and then I'll click okay. You'll see it loads up all the files that it found. Now in the center, we'll click on match drop down and select the corresponding database that you want it to look from. Since this is TV shows, I'm gonna choose the TVDB. It'll go through, look at the files, look at the TVDB database and try to match them up. We'll give it a moment to do its thing. You'll notice here that it has found everything and it wants to rename them. Over on the left again, if we look at the way it's currently named, we've got the Beverly Hillbillies S01E01, which stands for season one, episode one. Or on the right, you'll see it wants to rename it in a different format where it's just 1x01. So season one, episode one. If that's what you want, great. But if that's not what you want, then if you go back to the match button, you can right click on it, go down to edit format, which is down at the bottom. And then you can set up your expression layout here. It's currently set up to the one that I'd like. So you can just go use format and you'll see it's went through and changed everything to the way that I want it. Now you just simply hit rename and it'll go through and rename all the files. Obviously I don't need that happening because they are all the same name. So it's kind of pointless, but that's basically how you use it. Over on the far left, you've got other options, including episodes and subtitles. If for some reason you wanted to rename all this, like I said, you just hit rename. I don't have a license currently installed, so it's going to fail. But if you click on it, it's going to say license required. You have the option here to paste in a license key, select a license file, or you've got the option to purchase a license. So I'm gonna pause here, I'm gonna apply my license, and then we will go on to the automation side and I'll show you how that works. Actually, let me just show you how to do that real quick. I have a license file, so let me show you how to add that. Click on select license file, browse to wherever your license file is. I did put it inside of the root of my data share just so I could easily get to it. So I'll go into storage and you'll see it is the top option right here, filebot license. Select the PSM file and hit okay. And you'll see at the top, it says filebot license, the license number and how long it's valid for. Now, if you hit rename, it'll go through and process the files. Like I said before, they're already named properly. I don't need it to do that. So let's go look at the automation side and I'll show you how to do it there. So what I've done off screen is I went in and added some media that needed renaming into the filebot-in folder. So let me bring that up. So inside of the filebot-in folder, I have put in some Beverly Hillbillies files and renamed them to different formats that you probably run across. First one is 01 x02 so season one episode two top one is the 
video file itself. Next one is the JPEG, so it's the thumbnail for it. Down below, I've got slightly different again, 01x3, so it's missing the zero. Below that, I've got it missing the zero in the front, so it's 1x01. Below that, I've got the format that Plex likes. However, it's missing the name of the episode afterward. And the last two down here, you'll see have a dot in between each word. And it's also missing the name of the episode. So at this point, once the files are in here, we have to wait the time that I had set. In this case, I had set it to one minute, and then it should go through and automatically address the files if there's been no activity in the last 10 seconds. And if you remember, it's currently on the test mode, so it's not actually gonna move the files. So let's jump over to the logs and see what's happening over there. So I'll get out of here for the time being, go back to my Android server, I'll find Filebot, drop down, and select the logs. Since it's been more than a minute, we'll look at the logs here and see what it's found. You'll see right here at the top, input in the watch folder, it's found the files. Here the first one is the last one that we had had in there, the one that had the periods between the words. Found all the episodes, those all look good. Looking down further in the log, we'll find that it's found the renaming of the episodes. It's found the license file here. Activate license, there we go, that's good. It's on test mode, so it's looking at the watch folder. Found the episode, and there's the proper name, Beverly Hillbillies with the proper S01E05, with the episode name following it. Since we're in the test mode, you'll see the test options here, and it shows you the results. So it found the file, found the name of the show, the season and episode number, then it goes to the output side of it, renames it the proper name without the dots in between and the proper season format along with the episode name at the end. So that one worked. Next one down, same thing, found the episode, look at the name here, it's in the proper format with the episode name. You'll see at the bottom it has done, meaning the script's done, so we can close this out now, get out of the log. Now let's go back in and modify the filebot container and set it so that we'll actually do what we want with the files rather than just test. We'll find the filebot container, click on the filebot word itself to edit the container. We'll scroll down. We will come back and change the 60 seconds in a moment, but for now I'm gonna leave it there. Go down to test here, and I'm gonna change this to move because I want it to move the files from the input folder to the output folder. Scroll down, hit apply, then we'll click done. Let's bring back our file explorer window and kind of monitor that. There's the end. We'll give it a, the minute it needs to run. And you'll see that they're starting to disappear out. We'll let this finish up. There, they're all gone. All right, now that these are all processed, let's go back one level and go back to our file bot out and see what it's done. You'll find TV shows. We'll go in there, wherever the hillbillies, season one, and there's our files all properly named. There you have it. File bot is installed and set up to automate your media renaming. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon members get early access to my videos and they are ad and sponsor free. The link is in the description. Until then, check out one of these next. And I'll see you in that one.